girl. Alexis Bellino is ready to play victim, victim, victim. Let's blame it all on Bravo game. And we need to talk about it. But before we start, welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Beret Hills. And welcome to another piece of tea of the day. If you are new here, welcome to the Verbally Troop where I keep it real and I mention it all. So if you want to know what is happening inside of the Bravoverse with the pop culture street and more, well, you know what to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything of what is happening out there. And before we start, guys, we need to give a shout out to our partners of this video and are the people from Rose Forever. Rose Forever are amazing, beautiful, real roses that last up to a year. This bouquet right here is over six months old, and look how beautiful it looks. If you want to get your bouquet, go to my link on the description below, and just by clicking on it, you automatically will get 20% off your order. They have different colors, different shapes, different sizes, and they ship everyone around the world. So go and get your roses from Rose Forever. All right, guys, so let's talk about this mess because, girl, after that reunion, when Shannon Bedore basically mopped the floor with Alexis Bellino, you know, she is now out there doing, you know, her next best step and is just acting like a victim, you know. This girl literally came back into this show to be John Jensen's mouthpiece and to try to snatch uh or uh shannon's bedore orange you know it didn't work out I and mean, because it didn't work out now she's over here trying to play every part that she can out there trying to say that production made her wrong that she was edited to be the villain and i'm like girl okay so there is a, there is different things into this first of all we need to like go into the post in itself she's a picture of herself and girl it is just so long that I was like, what is she thinking that people are really going to read all of this? But you know what? We have to. We have to because in this case, she lives in such a delusional world that, I mean, we, we're we going to have to try to understand her, okay? So this is what she has to say. <clears throat> I just had a chance to watch the reunion of Real Housewife of Orange County season 18. I am letting everyone know that I am broken by this season. I was already broken by losing my mom three months prior to filming. So it was a difficult decision to sign back on. Yet, I went in thankful it brought me out of bed and out of my depression. But now I have been beaten down so badly, so wrongly, and so many truths left out. So much left on the cutting floor, on the cutting room floor, that would have never brought so much hate to me and my family. There are receipts, many, and to me and my family, I'm sorry, and they will be brought out this week. Girl, here we go with the threats. Here we go with the threats. If you don't show them where you were part of the show, do you think that we're going to care if you show, if you bring them now? First of all, we don't even believe that those receipts are true, okay? Anyways, um, the lawsuit only finalized because the opposition knew we had the receipts to bring to court. She had to pay up because she will have lost in court. Yeah. She only paid $60,000 out of the $75,000. But thank you for that $60,000. John gave you a discount. The lie that someone paid for everything is squashed by the fact of what our forensic accountant did. $50,000 spent by John year one. Then three hundred and eighty thousand dollars over over three years. Then two loans of seventy five thousand dollars, which she finally had to pay because the evidence wouldn't have squashed her in court. Truth prevails. 
it's unfortunate that I didn't get the opportunity for these receipts to be shown at the reunion, although they were brought by me and they were very available to be shown. So now John and I will bring them in our own voice. This is never how I would have thought or wanted it to happen. I also wanted wanted it to be known that I never thought I be brought back this season to be the villain. If I have known that I never that I never would have signed. I live in love, not anger or hate or villainous. I truly lay awake every night wondering why it was portrayed this way. Unfortunately, this season made a hit show at my and John expense. I thought my beating all season will be finally advocated for at the reunion and the truth will prevail. Sometimes God has a different plan. I will now use my own platform and my voice to share the truth and you, with you because I do not live in toxicity, <laughs> falsehood, hateful behavior, victimhood, or lies. I sang unto reality. And now I will bring the reality to light. I will never act to or become a victim. I will simply live with God and stand in truth. He always prevail. Hashtag stay tuned. I mean, the delusion of this girl. I just, like I was saying before, first of all, we don't give a shit about the receipts anymore. Okay. We just, do, we couldn't care about the receipts. Okay. You came into this show trying to destroy Shannon Bedor, trying to like brag her ex-boyfriend on her face, trying to laugh at her, trying to like put her down and you fell miserably. So now you're trying to put all of this pin, a uh, spin on all of these things. No one care. Imagine how sad Marty must it be to sit down with your boyfriend and had to go through everything that this man did for his ex-girlfriend and maybe realizing that he has not done the same thing for you, baby boy. I mean, I can't. I can't. Anyways, the whole thing is just laughable to me. She's like, I will not be a victim. I will not act like a victim. You are. You are. You know, take whatever is left of your dignity and leave. No one is paying attention. Okay? You can, you can, you can show 30,000 receipts of things that were bought. We don't care. It was not about the money, okay? It was never about the money. It was about the horrible man that this guy was and the, uh, what he did this season. It showed that Shannon Bedor is so much better without him, okay? So, I don't know. At least to, for me, I don't care. I don't want to see Alexis Bellino back. I don't care what receipts she brought. You know, I don't care, or, or she will bring. I don't care about any of that. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. Sometimes the delusion is just too much. And she's blaming now production. She's literally saying that all of this couldn't be, like, put out there and blah, blah, blah. I don't think, I think they didn't show anything because they know that it wouldn't have made a difference because it's not only about the money. And if she doesn't get that, I don't know. Go and pray more, girl, because I don't know what is happening in your head. So anyways, uh, let me know what you guys think on uh, the comments below. And if you want to get all the tea related to The Real Housewife of Orange County or any of the other Bravo shows, make sure to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.